¿cómo están? Una nueva edición aquí de Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network. Ahí tenemos un show en el que vamos a hablar de los mejores autos familiares del 2013. Vamos a ir a una prueba de manejo espectacular en el eh, circuito de las Américas en Austin, Texas con el BMW M6. Gran Coupé, un auto espectacular. También vamos a hablar de una tecnología nueva de una compañía que se llama Carbon Revolution que está haciendo rines de fibra de carbono y estuvieron aquí en el, en el eh, concesionario de Lamborghini en Miami y al final del show vamos a hablar eh, sobre la expansión del convenio que tiene Volkswagen con la Universidad de Stanford para desarrollar nuevas tecnologías pero ahora vamos a cambiar al inglés we're gonna switch back to English because now we have uh, Katia um, Nesson from Edmunds.com and David Sparrow from Parents Editor Parent, Parent Magazine is one of the editors there how are you Katia and David? I'm good, thank you. Doing great. Thank you very much for uh, for the time, for uh, um, uh, spending the time with us and sharing this uh, great top 10 list uh, for the best cars for families. Summer is coming up, a lot of people are uh, planning for trips and all that. So let's start with Katya. Can you please tell us a little bit about how you, Edmunds.com Parent, um, uh, is the partnership with Parent Magazine to do this, uh, this list? Well, yes, absolutely. We actually, realizing that Family vehicles are very important to the community. Um, we partnered with parents to pick, a, make a list of the best family cars for 2013. So it was, a, I believe we've done a partnership like this before, uh, but basically because we realized the importance of a family vehicles. Yeah, and uh, David, uh, this is, uh, it's, I mean, there's other lists from family cars from other, Uh, online uh, autos, uh, autos on online websites, but uh, I mean, being Parent Magazine, one of the main uh, uh, publications with these topics of talking to families, I think there's an added value to this. Right. Uh, without question, well, we, you know, we've been actually doing uh, best family cars for 12 years, and this is our sixth year in partnership with Edmunds.com, and um, you know, it's it's a great partnership. They obviously bring. Um, tremendous car expertise. Um, we bring um, our own editorial priorities and, and, you know, when it comes to cars, uh, factors like safety really come first for us because that's such an important factor when you're a parent um, buying a new car. You want to make sure you're safe and, and obviously even more, you want to make sure your kids are safe. Um, and we look for performance, value, style, family-friendly features, and, um, you know, all those factors together Um, is how we provide what we believe is the best list out there for uh, parents looking for a new car. Yeah, and it must be a, a, a tough task because there really isn't any uh, bad car anymore in the market, I don't think. And especially uh, car manufacturers have put in so many features in cars which must be tough to make to put the list together, no? Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right, uh, Javier. It's, uh, it's, uh, the cars have improved tremendously in, in recent years from a safety standpoint that, you know, there's many more airbags, uh, you know, in, in, in various places, in the front side for curtain, um, there's uh, anti-lock brakes, uh, ma many features that used to be luxuries have become standards, so it's true, the bar has been set much higher than it was previously, um, but we really feel we've picked out, um, you know, the 10 best um, that cover a variety of sizes and, and family needs. Yeah, and Katia, can you please explain a little bit uh, what was the process of uh, the test driving of the, all the vehicles? Goals and how that well, was Edmund's uh, contribution to this uh, to top 10 list? Yeah, absolutely. We actually test, uh, we, we do a very detailed test of um, all these vehicles that we purchase or lease uh, for our company. Everything from test driving it on the track, test driving it on the street, driving it like a typical family would. I mean, we run errands, we take uh, trips to Las Vegas, we do everything that a typical family would do on and off the track. Then we have a rating system in-house um, where we take a look at the actual mechanics of the vehicle, um, including safety and those types of things. So we really verify the qualifications that a vehicle receives, let's say from NHTSA or the IHS. So we do our own very detailed uh, analysis and test drive um, in-house and on the road. Yeah, and uh, the, the list is uh, set up in, in uh, different categories, right? Uh, going from budget cars to hybrids to uh, sedans, crossovers, SUVs, as minivan, right? That's correct, yeah. yeah. We, 
there's a, uh, every, we test them in every category, just like you mentioned. Yeah, and uh, David, I, I see the list that we are going to publish it. I mean, it's already published in our website in, in uh, facebook.com slash auto0260. And uh, I put links both to Edmunds and also to Pine Magazine websites. Uh, and I want, I have one extra question because, I mean, pets are part of the family nowadays. Uh, and uh, But I don't see any category or any uh, mention to that part, of what, that was part of the test or not, David? <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, well, um, no, I guess we uh, we considered overall all the factors that I mentioned before. Um, I don't believe um, pets were specifically a part of the category. I mean, I agree that they're certainly um, a big part of many families. Um, you know, I'm I'm waiting for the day when the when we start seeing car seats for dogs and cats, and and I think uh, you know that that is certainly a factor. I mean, we can really only measure the you know the safety and convenience factor though for um, you know, for parents and kids and passengers, um, so uh, it, it's hard to you know factor that out specifically for pets. I guess you know maybe some of the the larger vehicles on our on our list with that have a third row might be um, you know a better choice for uh, those who for families who have a couple of kids and also um, have a dog who frequently travels with them. Yeah, I think the Honda Odyssey is going to make your list next year, but the one they presented in the New York Auto Show, because that includes a vacuum already into the car. Oh, that, oh that's, an option, that's, so. that's a great idea. Well, the Honda was was on our honorable mention list, and and uh, and it and it certainly is an outstanding minivan as well. I mean, uh, you know, with that and the Toyota Sienna, I don't think you could go wrong with either of those two vehicles. Yeah, and Katya, can you yeah. please uh, run down the the list? Uh, I mean, we don't have too much time, unfortunately, here in the radio show, but can you just run down the main uh, winners? In one of the in each of the of the six categories, please. Absolutely, yes. Uh, okay, so we could start with I guess the best budget cars. I guess the best bang for your buck. Uh, the 2013 Subaru Impreza um, made the list along with the Honda Civic. For the best hybrid, which is no surprise, we have the Toyota Prius C. Um, as far as best sedans go, we have the Ford Fusion and the Honda Accord. Um, a lot of these have been redesigned, um, like the like the Accord and the Civic. Uh, best crossovers: we have the Hyundai Santa Fe Sport and the Honda CRV. The best SUV: we have Chevy uh, Traverse and Nissan Pathfinder. And best minivans: we have the Toyota Sienna. Yeah. Um, and so, and just to go back about the pet and the family, we actually. Um, really look into that. Uh, we found that a lot of uh, vans and SUVs, like David mentioned, they don't offer packages themselves, the manufacturers don't, but the trunk space and all that is made to expand to put fences and things like that for pets. Um, because they are part of the family, we definitely consider them when we do our test drives as well. Yeah, excellent. We're talking to Katya Nensen from Edmunds.com and David Sparrow from uh, Parent Magazine talking about the top 10 list for the best family cars for 2013. And David, uh, I don't see, I see a hybrid uh, category here, but uh, what do you think of uh, the electric cars that are coming out into the market? Do you think that's going to become something that uh, is going to be in your, probably in the future for your list, for this kind of uh, top 10 lists? Yeah, you know, it's a good question, Javier. I think we, we've certainly, um, you know, we're very aware of them, obviously, and, um, you know, they are a, um, a, a burgeoning uh, entrant in the market, and, and I do hope that um, that we'll see uh, them become a greater presence in the market as uh, the prices start to come down a bit um, so that they're a little more accessible to the average family. At this point, um, you know, the, the $40,000 plus price tag of many of them makes it a, a little bit um, excessive for uh, you know, many families who um, are young and growing, but um, obviously budget-minded as well. Uh, I think in the long term, from an environmental standpoint, um, they are, you know, a, ter a terrific option. Um, um, but also, you know, for most, for the most part, the fuel range on those um, isn't up to the uh, standard of uh, the hybrids and, and the, the standard gas engine vehicles. So. Yeah. And um, Katya, there's also a lot of uh, nice uh, diesel vehicles, uh, especially in the SUV category, and I think those are they're very good options. They're not here in the list, but uh, there's also very good uh, options in that sense, right? Correct. Yes, correct. I mean, Volkswagen's been leading the uh, road with this, so any any anytime you have a diesel option, I think is worth checking if you have um, if you you know looking to keep a budget. Um, at the pump, it's you know obviously a different price tag, but over the long run, I think it's a very good choice. Yeah, 
And uh, Katia, do you have any any trips planned for the summer in any of these cars? Oh, wow, in any of these cars. You know, I drive a sedan. I have a family. I have two um, two children. And um, any time I plan a family trip, I mean, I, I make sure that we're going to get the best fuel. We're going to make the, the correct stops. Make it as comfortable as possible. You want to look for, um, you know, rear heating ducts, maybe add additional outlets for to plug in children's um you know, games or anything like that, that in long road trips is going to keep them entertained. Yeah. <laughs> um, plenty of, cu of uh, cup holders, things like that. Yeah. Um, you know, any, and definitely the trunk space is, is uh, what I like about the sedan I have is, you know, you can fit bags and bags of, you know, tow. <laughs> yeah. And David, what about you? Have about one minute. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Um, I, I agree with a lot of, uh, a lot of all those points I, I i mean uh for the road trip like you know we're going to do a beach trip this summer i think um there's no substitute for a minivan for you know being able to haul uh you know my two kids my sister-in-law all our bags all our you know beach paraphernalia yeah. um but i think also the you know the the plugs where you can recharge uh, smartphones uh and all your electronics uh, have become a, a really important standard feature now because Absolutely. you know that is a great way to keep it kids and everybody else entertained while you're trying to drive in peace <laughs> yeah well so. thank you very much again for katya nesson from endless.com and david Spar from parent magazine uh, enjoy your trips be safe and uh, hopefully we'll talk again uh, soon maybe with another or at least with uh, we include the pets now because i don't have kids but i have a dog and he loves it <laughs> <laughs> that's your agenda yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> thank you very much again for your time to both of you Our pleasure. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Pues All ahí right. tienen la lista de los 10 mejores autos familiares del 2013 elaborada por Edmunds.com y la revista Parent Magazine. Eh, estamos publicando la lista tanto en inglés como en español en nuestro sitio de Facebook, facebook.com slash auto 060, para que la vean. Y rápidamente aquí se las damos la lista. El híbrido, el Toyota Prius, el auto de bajo precio, el Subaru Impresa y el Honda Civic. En sedán, el Ford Fusion, el Honda Accord, Crossover Hyundai Santa Fe, Honda CRV, la SUV, la Chevy Traverse, la Nissan Pathfinder y la minivan, la Toyota Siena. No se vayan, esto es Auto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota.